Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to my channel at Pretty Wigs Please. So today you guys, I'm reviewing a human hair piece that was sent to me from Wigshe. Wigshe uh, makes wigs, they're overseas, and they reached out and asked me if I would review this piece for them. And so I've been waiting for it. I think it's been a little over a month. I got it, I did an out of the box video on this piece, and I'm gonna add it to the end of this video, okay, in case you wanna see what she looked like out of the box. And she did not look like this out of the box, but we'll talk about all that. Um, so I'm just gonna give my honest review of this piece. I'm gonna start out, I wanna tell you a few things. Okay, so you go on their website and you custom make the piece that you want. You choose your color, you choose your style, you can get long style, straight, wavy, you know, that sort of thing. And they custom make these pieces for you. So that's what I did was went on the website and here's the one that I chose. I chose wig 037 and it, the description said, warm blonde ombre, short wavy, human hair, lace wig, 037. Um, now, of course, I custom colored the, custom chose the color I wanted, and I decided to go with brunette. It's chestnut, number three, chestnut. Now, you can make special requests to get these custom made for you, so the only thing that I asked for was that my brunette didn't have a lot of red in it, because you know what I mean. Sometimes they'll pick up a lot of red hues, and I just didn't want that. And I am thrilled to tell y'all that I think this color is stunning for a brunette. I think they did a fantastic job and I couldn't be happier with the color. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you a couple other things about them. It says 100% Remy hair. I ordered 12 inches. I measured this, this is more like, I think, I think it said like 16 inches. So they're very generous on the length or at least they were with this piece. I ordered 120% density, and I do love the density on this piece. Invisible lace, lightly bleached, and it's a lace front cap, not full lace. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all, I've never had a human hair piece before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just learning as I go, and I'm trying to show you guys what I went through getting my first piece and my feelings and how it's making me feel so that maybe you'll know a little better what to expect if you get one. With that being said, they gave me a code, and it's Alicia10, that if you buy a piece from them, if you use the code Alicia10, you'll save 10%. So that's a good thing. This piece lists for $509.99. Okay, I think I got all that away out of the way, so let's talk about this hair. So my daughter-in-law just left here. I called her last night and I said, would you please come over and style my human hair wig for me? Because I don't feel like I have very good hair skills. So she did. Thank you, Caitlin. She came over this morning and she took her flat iron and she curled this piece. Let's look at it, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come on in too so that you can see the color. I think they did so good on the color. You know, I've heard from other reviewers that they've had issues with color sometimes ordering from Wigshe. I just wanna say in this particular case, I could not be happier with the way that this color came out. Okay, with that being said, so like I said, I'm going to attach an, uh, the out of the box at the end of this because I want y'all to see that this piece was flat to my head. It was so sleek and straight. It felt wonderful. And these this hair feels like a dream. I, I just can't say enough. It feels wonderful. Um, but honestly, when I put it on, it was so flat to my head, I just didn't know what to do with it. I was like, oh no, I'm never gonna be able to make this work. <laughs> so I just didn't know what to do with it. So I let it sit for two or three days. So I ended up washing it, conditioned it. I hung it upside down to dry. I still don't know if that was the right thing to do, but that's what I did. 
and I'm gonna tell y'all this hair dried beautifully now it it did to me just what it's supposed to do it was puffy you know because I had dried it upside down um, I just let it air dry but Caitlin came over and just used her flat iron and did this just a while ago she just left and I just think it came out darling we kind of the part came with a middle part we kind of moved it to the left a little bit just to suit me better um, as far as the knots, you know, I think it looks fine. If it gives me any issue, I would just put a little face powder on there. My coverage is great. I have a 22 inch circumference. I'm eight inches, you know, from here to here. If this helps you, I have not adjusted this cap and it fits wonderful on my very average head. So see the ear tabs there? So, I mean, I'm happy with the fit, and I will tell you that this cap is comfortable. I can go ahead and show you the cap, and I'll do that really fast. This is the uh, wig grip that they sent with this piece. So, here's the inside of the cap. I trimmed the lace, you guys. <laughs> I've never had to do that before, because I've never had a human hair wig. But, I just put it on my mannequin head, and I just went right along where I thought I would want it to go on me, and I did fine, so it was easy. These days, I try not to overthink things. So you see, it's got these combs, this parting space, closed cap with these adjusters, and another comb. So, uh, I don't know if y'all could see, but I don't know if y'all can see, but the parting space, I was gonna see if you could see through there. The parting space is very realistic on this piece. I'm very pleased with it. So let's put her back on. Y'all, other than just putting it on at home for a second here and there, this is my first time to actually put this piece on my head. Now that Caitlin curled it for me. Just couldn't be happier with this piece. Um, they had they were wonderful with me when she was you know we went back and forth a few times and i wouldn't have to wait very long and i would have a reply email from them so i just think it was wonderful i think it's a gorgeous piece full of body just feels wonderful okay you guys do watch the video at the end of the unboxing okay so everybody have a great day bye Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to my channel. I'm at Pretty Wigs, please. Okay, so here's what just happened. Just this second, I looked out my front door and I had a package from FedEx. Now, Wigshe, who is a budget-friendly human hair manufacturer overseas, had reached out to me and asked me if I'd review a human hair piece from them. And I said yes, and I've been waiting a long time for it to come. Well, they just sent me an email a day or two ago saying it shipped. So, in my mind, I was thinking, gosh, it's going to be a week or two before it gets here. I don't know. So, I'm not at all prepared for this. It just got here. I took it into my bathroom and I took this little part off of it. And I have not opened the lid. I was like, no, go in there and film it. Because I'm kind of nervous, actually. I've never had a human hair piece. And I was thinking, because there's others going to be out there like me, like you guys, that order your first human hair piece, maybe from Wixi, and you don't know what to expect. And believe me, I don't either. So we're going we're gonna to mm -hmm. do this together. So here's the box. I'm going to open it. If I can figure out how to open it. See, here we go already. But this is the operator. That's me. Okay, here it is. Ugh, I don't know what to think. Okay. Okay, so, you know, they let you, at Wigshe, they let you custom design the piece that you want. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I said 120 density because I wanted low density. I chose a brunette, and my only special request was that it didn't have any red in it. And I'm trying to remember the length. Oh, yes, and I said wavy. I chose wavy. I think it's 0037 was the one that I chose from their, their website. 
Let's look. Let me look too with y'all. Oh, it's brunette, okay. That, that's nice for a brunette. Okay, so what do you do now? Oh, it's not like I'm used to. There's no netting like we're usually used to. Oh, it's just buried it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that feels good. I've got to look at it too, y'all. <laughs> oh, and it is kind of wavy. I think it may be 14 inches. Look at that hairline already. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness, that is a nice hairline. Okay, so I've never had one that has this lace that you have to trim. We can look at the inside of the cap, but there's lots of reviews coming out about these. This is the cap, and from what I understand, I'm going to have to cut this lace, you know, up to here to suit me. But anyway, there's that closed cap. Okay. You know what? I'm looking to see about the red. Because you know how a lot of times brunettes have red in them? And so, let's see. Do you know I really don't see red? Okay, let's see. Uh, we don't want gray hair sticking out there. It, it just the feel, just the feel is amazing. I mean, it just feels like the softest hair ever, the softest real hair. I mean, it is real hair. <laughs> Okay, that lace thing is throwing me off because I'm not used to that. Let's see if we can't just pick it up for the sake of looking at it. So this is going to be the parting space. Very low density. Wow. 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 That looks real. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the wave. I just smelled a little something. I mean, it's okay, but I noticed something. Just, just from processing, I think it's what that is. I'll wash it. Middle part. So let's have a look. Let's see. I'm trying to see too. <laughs> so when you cut the lace, I think that would help me once I cut the lace to see what I'm dealing with here. That feels amazing. Just like the healthiest, softest hair. Oh yeah, let's look at all this. I hope you can see. I'm just trying to take it in what I'm looking at here. <laughs> oh, yes. I like the density. Like, not terribly thick. That's just a little bit left over here. I wanted, of course, the lighter color like a blonde in the beginning, but um, I just couldn't decide. So I just went what, you know, I've been comfortable in brunette, so I just went with brunette. But I think they did really nice on the color. It's just a straight brunette, and it doesn't have the red in it, just like I special requested. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go into my bathroom and play with this for a minute. I've got to get that lace off so I can see what I think about it. Just wanted to share this with everybody. Okay, y'all. Bye.